All right, this is a Spark Live amp that I just procured. It is a pretty amazing amp. I'll probably not do it justice by describing this, but if you can have a look at the front of the amp, you've got a button here, which you hold down and it turns on. Um, this amp is battery powered as well as being powered from the wall. And actually when you um, have the battery in the, uh, the uh, battery gets charged up by the wall power. Um, and then when you have the amp unplugged from the wall, you then have um, the amp in battery mode and the battery can charge for, or it can be um, used for around eight hours, they say. So a typical front end of an amp here where they've got the uh, your normal gain and and uh, bass mid treble um, and this here just turns your guitar f volume up and this turns your music your background music volume up very smooth uh, running by the way very smooth pot potentiometers here they almost seem like they're gonna keep going when you turn them so very nice actually and they don't pull in and out there's nothing here just uh, this, this actually, if you select a background song and you want to turn the, the volume up, you turn it up here, but you can also use your application to do that. And maybe I'll show you that in a second. So, and these are all also controlled by the application gain. So these are presets. So I believe um, it says press the switch so you can get preset one, two, three, and four, um, all controlled by your Spark app on your, on your iPhone. And if you press this in here like that, it goes for the second level of one, two, three, four presets. So this is channel one of the uh, Spark amp. So, and I'm not sure if I can actually just open this up to show the speakers, but I think I can Let's just pop this open for a second and have a look at the speakers. So you've got one speaker here. It looks like it has one, two, three baffles on the speaker. Um, probably shouldn't touch it, but these things kick out 150 watts R RMS on these speakers. These, I guess, is are these, I guess, are kind of mids. Um, these, this would be a bass normally in a speaker set. These would be the mids, and this would be a tweeter. So this is probably a kind of a tweeter high any anyway, and these would be mids low, right? And then they've got a hole here. These holes, um, I used to have a set of speakers with holes like that. And these holes um, are effectively the base. So these are the base, this is the mid, and these are the tweeters. And then there's another complete set down below. And this amplifier, when you turn it sideways, it knows it's sideways and it turns into stereo. So this is an, a guitar amplifier, but it's also an amplifier that can be used for a, as a PA system. Um, the amplifier also has a hole in the side right here where you can mount that um, onto a stand and use this thing as a PA system. And just put this grill back for a second. The grill seems to be pretty easy to take, put on and take off and stuff. You just take it off and you push it um, and you're good to go. And just not screw this up. And let's look at the back of the amplifier right now. Well, actually, before we look at the back, here's that, uh, hole here used for a stand so you can mount this and there's some legs here if you're going to put it sideways and that's what this is for now looking at the back of the amplifier first of all there's a pad here because you can take this amplifier you can pull this leg up like this and you can lean it sideways so you can lean it sideways like this or you can rotate this leg here and you can lean it sideways like this like a guitar amp so and then you just turn this again and, and you tuck it in. This, these little buttons here give you the extension of the leg here. So you just press that down and pull that out. I won't bother doing that right now. Um, as far as lifting it up, there's a kind of a grip right here that you can use for lifting the amp up when you're just moving it around. And then down here is where the battery is. So you unscrew that. It's a pretty hefty battery on this amp. So you just unscrew that and then you take, you pull the battery straight out, put it back in, it's dead easy and this battery lasts eight hours of playing. And here's the plug for plugging the amp into the wall. And actually down here, I think is 
is where they have this little tiny QR code down here. This is where the data is for the amp and serial number and stuff like that. You need to register it. So, so looking at the panel here on the front, it says it even says that the the amp has a built-in sensor here. And when you turn this thing sideways, it knows it's sideways and it turns it into stereo speakers. So that's good. So, so just like every other amp, I guess the master, mid, high, and volume um, for the amp is here. I guess you can use this when it's a PA system as opposed to a guitar, but I think this also affects the, uh, the guitar. So, and there's a plus and minus here, right? So I don't really understand the plus and minus, but I, I can say that if it's a PA system and you're, this is a, basically a mixer, that you're able to use the mixer on the amp. Here you've got an input for a microphone, so you can actually put a microphone through here, so if you're a keener and you want to sing through this amp as well as play guitar, this is the second channel, channel two, and I think it takes a quarter inch jack as well as an XLR uh, jack for this, for the microphone. Again, the presets are here for, the, for channel two, so you can select the presets and the volume. Uh, and then moving down here, if, you're, uh, if you've got a keyboard or MIDI instrumentation, you can connect MIDI in and out to control the uh, amplifier through your MIDI, um, which is kind of cool. And then there's an output port, and you can wire this amp to a PA system or anything using the output. And just like normal outputs, you've got left is usually the one that you're, that you're uh, getting the signal from to go to like a PA system if you're not stereo. Um, so left mono and then you just left and right if you're plugging that in. So th this can also go to, I believe this can also go to um, like a, a recording deck or something like that. So so that's that. And then a channel three, four, right, is another two, two channels where you can go stereo input. So you can input like a keyboard in this one here and maybe an electronic drum machine in this one here. And it has its own volume as well. So that's four, four independent channels to be used for this amplifier. Very, very nice. Um, this is your Bluetooth pairing here. So if you want to pair this amp and use it as an outdoor speaker, for example, for a party, you can use this as a Bluetooth speaker for a party, or you can, it actually pairs to the Spark app and you can use that that way. So then USB-C is uh, audio data, it says. So this is actually taking audio out from the from the amplifier um, and this is a charge out which is pretty handy because you can have your your other spark amplifiers like your spark go or your uh, spark um, your mini spark or your spark 40 I also have those amplifiers too so I'm kind of a sparkaholic and you can actually use this to charge those other amplifiers um, you can I believe you can take signal out of this this amplifier as well and plug it into the, the Spark 40 and that sort of thing. I don't know if it would turn this off and just go through the Spark 40 or, or that you could have them working together. You can also take these outputs and drive them into another amplifier. Like if you've got, I've got a Marshall 275 that I could take this and push it into the Marshall 275 if I want even more volume than this, right? So, so this is a very beautiful amplifier. So this is uh, what it kind of looks like uh, it's uh, pretty impressive and let's just have a look at the application for a second. So the first thing you do in the application is you open it up in, on an iPad here and you just hit connect like this and I have the amplifier on right now so it should find the app um, and if I look up while it's connecting it should say successful and yeah there we go successful and up here you can see the app, the app is actually connected and there's a preset on right now. So, and if I turn this preset, let me just turn the preset knob and we'll look down at the app for a second and look at what happens here. It's actually rotating through the various presets I have. And if I press the button, so I went to the press the button mode and I do this, it's also rotating through the presets and here we go. So that's doing a preset rotation. So in the app, I have a whole whack of songs, um, background music and stuff, but what I wanted to show you here, uh, more importantly, is this is a new addition to the Spark. So now, now I can control the master volume of the Spark amplifier here. I'm gonna make sure I'm recording while pressing buttons here, but I can, re I can 
control the master volume. And if I'm playing guitar through the input one, I can control the, the guitar input and I'm effectively controlling these inputs here by doing that. So this is the music uh, background, the guitar input I just showed you, um, and the master volume is, is, is over here. I think the master volume would be the gain through here. Um, I'd have to go in the back and check to make sure it's not the master volume of the mixer on the other side. But, but anyway, I can change that master volume and then I've got the other channels here for the, for the, uh, the amp as well when I'm selecting is touch anywhere on the app and if I'm selecting up here um, and I'm seeing where vocal so as I plug the the uh, the uh, microphone into the amplifier it's got various uh, vocal settings that I can that I can that I have access to through the application and there we go so there's a bunch of different vocal settings on this thing and you guys can explore this to see what it'll do for you but you just basically have every everything in its dog from a vocal perspective i picked it i pressed it twice which gives me access to the amp ampli amplifier models um, and this is mic preamp whatever and if i touch one of these and i can go up and down with this so all of these are controllable and of course all of these are in, in the line for the uh for the actual setup, so you can control every one of these as well. So if I crit, I've got a compressor 76 here. If I want to change some of the attributes of that, I can do that as well. So that's that's input two. So let me see if I can press some more stuff. There's input one and guitar lead style. Um, and again, if I press this again, I'm getting all sorts of things. So if I, I did buy the Jimi Hendrix stuff so I got all the Jimi Hendrix amplifier modeling here so it's pretty pretty um, pretty powerful um, and when I go to I usually go here and my name's JD and if I go save songs the only thing I can see is it's shadowing these for some reason and I have to press this and then this back and it gets rid of it and I got a bunch of songs that I typically play um, that, that I shadowed here and um, I, these are background music, so I'll pay, play BB King. This the thrill is gone. I'll pump that, and I'll do all the guitar work. Or George Benson, Breezing. I'm kind of halfway through learning that. Santana, Europa. I play that a lot. Um, so this gives me access to that. And then if I press this button down here again, like that, <laughs> see if that works. I can do things like bring up Spotify or the. the t I usually hit the tuner, and I tune my guitar first so I do that and then a tuner comes up and you're able to tune your guitar and then you can just X out on that stuff like this and away you go but the the, the main feature as I go through the amps here is that I th they've added this which allows you to control the amplifier um, remotely um, and up here I, I just saw it two seconds ago but up here is the music level so so that the masters down here but if I want to independently pump up the level of the background music I can do it from here, from the application. So if I've got my amp 20 meters away or whatever, or 20 feet away or whatever, I can do all of the adjustments here uh, to the to the actual amp amplifier. And so as you see, amplifier is on, it's connected to my app. I can use this thing in any way I want. A very cool Spark Live, um, highly recommended. And as I said, you turn this thing sideways, it becomes a stereo amplifier. So. That's it. I'm JD with a quick review of the Spark Live. I hope you enjoy it. 150 watts of power. I think that's RMS, root mean square, for you people that understand stuff like this. And then the, um, I think it said it was 450 peak. So if you happen to hit that that high note with your, uh, your four string down and you rip that thing up, it's not going to blow the amplifier up. So that's good. That's it. Um, Look at that Wi-Fi and everything. Just amazing, amazing. Hold it down to turn it off, and you're good to go, Jerry. Good to go. That's a Spark Live. Um, I blame my son for making me buy this, uh, but he loves playing guitar, and he loves electronics like I do, and this is what I call yet another amp. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching my channel. I know it's not watchmaking like I normally put on there, but I am a guitar player, so uh, have a good day. Bye.